All right, so one issue that we need to take care of before we are finished uh, with this course is right now anybody can go to the URL uh, slash post slash new and uh, create a post, which is obviously an issue. We want to add some authentication to where uh, we are the only one who only ones who are able to uh, create posts. So for that, we are going to use Devise Gem to add the authentication to our application. So to get started, let's uh, install the Devise Gem. Let's do a git s. Let's check out to a new branch uh, called Devise, and, and let's close out of all this stuff. Let's open up the gem file and under mail form, let's add gem device. I'm using 3.4.1 and let's do a bundle install and restart our server. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, if you go to uh, the home page, uh, it will take you to the GitHub documentation and go down to the getting started section. So after we've installed the gem, we need to run the generator. So let's do rails generate device install. So rails g uh, device device colon install. And then this uh, gives us a few things to do if we haven't already. We've set this up in production. So um, for now, I'm just going to skip number one. We've created the root of our application. So can skip to. We don't have uh, flash messages just yet. So let me uh, copy this and uh, let's go to our application template. Um, above our header, actually below our header, let's paste it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a conditional if uh, notice. We will add the notice and then I'll do else if. Uh, alert. We will show the alert and then I'll end this. So this will only show up if there is a notice or if there is an alert. Otherwise, the p tags won't uh, show up at all. All right. So the next thing we need to do, uh, we're not deploying to Heroku with three point, Rails 3.2. We're actually doing Rails 4.2, so we can skip that. And uh, we are going to tweak the dev views a bit. So let's do rails generate device views so we can copy those into our application and edit them. All right, so let's go back to the documentation. After we have done the generator, the next thing we need to do is rails generate device model. So uh, for this, we are going to do a user model. So let's do rails generate uh, device and model. So for this, we're going to replace model with user. Now, if we do a rake db migrate, awesome. So let's uh, go to localhost. Um, we'll do slash users slash new, or I'm sorry, slash users slash sign underscore up. Undefined method device. Uh, let's uh, try restarting our server again. Because I think after we did the generator. All right, there we go. Perfect. So let's try uh, signing up. So I'll do McKinsey at unicast.com and our password. All right, so we have successfully signed up. Perfect. So what we want to do is set it to where only people who are signed up have the ability to create new articles or create posts, I mean projects. Uh, so let's add that functionality now. So inside of our controllers, let's go to app controllers. Let's go to our post controllers first. Let's do another before action. And for this, we're going to do authenticate underscore user exclamation point. Uh, we want to do this for everything except the index and the show pages. So what this will do uh, this is a method from device. What this will do is if we are not signed in and we try to go to, for example, create a new article, it will redirect us to the sign up page and won't let us create an article without being authenticated. So let's save that and test it out. So obviously I'm signed in here. So if I go to post slash new, I can see this page. Let's copy that URL 
and do Command Shift N for an incognito window. So if I paste that in, you can see I tried to go to post slash new, but since I'm not authenticated, it redirected me to the login page. It says you need to sign in or sign up before continuing. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Uh, let's do the same for the projects. So let's add that authenticate user. And let's try to go to uh, projects slash new. Perfect. And uh, let me go to an actual project and let's uh, try to edit this. All right, so we get directed to the sign in page for the edit as well. So first thing I want to do is let's uh, quickly do a get status, git add dot, git commit, dash am. I'm going to say set up device. All right, now let's do a git checkout. Uh, master. We're going to do a git merge uh, device. And let's do a git push. And then I want to quickly make sure this works on Heroku as well. So let's do git push Heroku master. Okay, and since we changed the database, let's do Heroku run uh, rake db colon migrate. All right, so now if we go to our Heroku app and let's try to go to slash post slash new, we get directed to the login page. Uh, let's actually go to slash user slash sign up and create an account real quick. I'll do McKinsey at unicast.com, enter my password. All right, so now we have the ability to create the post because we are a uh, we are an actual user. So one thing I want to do is remove the ability to sign up because uh, we are going to be the only people who are creating posts. So we don't want anybody to just be able to go slash users slash sign up and well if we were signed out and create a post. So what we need to do is um, let's go back to our terminal get s. All right, let's do another git checkout um, and let's check out into the device branch. All right, just making sure we're up to date. All right, so we are good. I want to remove the ability to register. So to do that, let's go to our models and let's go to user.rb. Uh, if we remove the device registerable, and let me just make this all in one line. If we remove that and then we try to go to, well, in an incognito window, if we try to go to slash user slash sign up, we get a routing error because that route no longer exists. So uh, users are not, or visitors aren't able to actually sign up anymore. Um, you can still do it through the console, but you can't do it through users slash sign up. So obviously we want to not get this routing error. So uh, what I'm gonna do for that is let's open up the routes file. Uh, there's this little trick we can add. Uh, if we add git and star path, and then we redirect it to home, what this will do is for any routing error, it will redire redirect us to the home page. So if I go back and refresh, it redirects us to the home page. If I go to localhost slash gibberish, it redirects us to the home page. So we no longer get a routing error. So if someone tries to go to users slash sign up, uh, they won't be able to, which is awesome. Exactly what we want. But we still will be able to go to users slash sign in and sign in for our application. Perfect. So a few more things I want to do. Let's, um, do a git s git add dot let's commit this and say remove uh, device sign up functionality all right so uh, as you can see these forms are terrible uh, let's uh, add these in a wrapper uh, to make it a bit nicer. So let's go to views, uh, device, and 
the session slash new. Let me open that file up. Let's also open up project slash new, and I'm going to copy this uh, class, uh, skinny wrapper and wrapper padding. So let's add that around the form and tap that over and close that div. And also, I'm going to remove these links as well because we don't actually need them. So if I sign or go back to the login page, all right, that's good. Next thing I want to do, let's add a BR tag to make a break between this so there's a bit of spacing. Then for the H2, um, let's change it to, here we go, let's change it to an H1 tag. And we're going to add an ID equals uh, page underscore title. So if we go back and refresh, right, that looks fantastic. Uh, let's clean up the other forms as well. For example, um, the slash post slash new. Um, it's all funky here, so let's do the same thing. So I'm going to copy these two lines and go to slash post slash new. And let's uh, tab this stuff over. Add the closing div. All right, and instead of log in, this should be a new post. And let's delete this. All right, that looks fantastic. Um, let's go to an edit page, see how that looks. So if I edit this, well, I can just type it in directly. Fourth post slash edit, that looks pretty terrible. Let's do the same thing here and go to post slash edit. and uh, close that div. And I'll change this from new post to edit post. Go back and refresh. All right, that looks much better. And let's make sure the projects are good as well. So I'll do projects slash new. That looks good. Let's uh, restyle that. So let me copy this line, go to slash project slash new. And let's add the new project here and remove the new project h1. Refresh, perfect. Now let's go to a project and do slash edit. All right, let's do the same, same thing there. So edit.html.erb, remove that and change new project to edit project. Perfect, so all the forms are good to go. So let's uh, commit that, let's do a get status git commit dash am and what we're going to do is styled forms all right so the last thing we need to do is i want to add the edit and destroy links to the pages but i will only want them to show up if we're signed in so uh let's take care of that let's go to our post show page uh, we have way too much open let's search for post uh, show all right so let's add it above the um the share box right below the content. Let's uh, create a conditional. If the user is signed in, question mark. Let's end this. So if the user is signed in, let's create a uh, div with an ID of admin links. Then inside of here, let's create a link to um, edit article. And we'll go to edit post path. We'll do at post. And then let's do another one, another link to for delete article. And we will go to post path at post. And we'll do a method of delete. And we'll throw in the data. Confirm. Are you sure? And let's uh, close that link. All right, that should be good. Let's uh, remove this edit link down here. So save this, go back and refresh. All right, so the edit and delete links show up. All right, and they work correctly. Awesome. So let's uh, style these real quick. Let's go to our post SCSS file, or post projects. So let's see, under the share box, 
I'm going to add the styling here. I'm going to do the admin links div. So for here, let's add a border on top and bottom. So I'll do border top one pixel solid and the border color. And let's do the same for the bottom. Let's just change it to border bottom. Let's uh, do a text align center to position it in the center. Let's add some padding on top and bottom of uh, 1m, 0. And let's uh, push the content up. So let's do 3m, uh, 0. So let's see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty nice. Let's uh, style the actual links now. So we'll do A, and let's change the color to our light variable. Let's do margin of 0 on top and bottom and 1m on either side to add some spacing. Next, let's do a font weight of bold. So font weight 700. Let's do a font size. Let's make this pretty small, 0.8m. Uh, let's do a text uh, transform, uppercase. And let's do a text decoration of none. So if we save that, go back and refresh, that looks pretty great. And let's make sure this is not showing up. So if we go to the incognito page, uh, we do not see those links. Perfect. So let's do the same for the projects. So let me go to one of my projects, 12 and 12 challenge. I'm going to copy this whole line if the user signed in. And I'm going to go to, instead of post show, let's go to project show. And what I will do is, let's see, yeah, let's do it right above right below the button actually. We'll add that in and then I'm just going to copy these two lines and uh, replace it with the post content for the project. Now let's refresh. All right, that looks good. If we edit, it takes us to the correct page. All right, and let's make sure we can't see it in incognito. Perfect. All right, so only users who are signed in will be able to edit and destroy or create posts and projects, and they won't see the links unless we're signed in. So one last thing I want to do is in the header, I want to add a si sign out link. So let's go to application HTML. All right, so I only want this to show up if we are not signed in. Well, first off, Let's change this contact link. So we'll do contact link to let's do a, a rake routes, find out what that route actually is. So let's do new contact path. Contact, and we'll go to the new contact path. Let's make sure that works first. All right, so that's looking good. Next thing we're gonna do if user is signed in, we're going to give us a link to sign out. So we'll do link to, and let's go to the routes and see what that is. So we want to destroy the user session. So we want to go to the destroy user session path. So let's go back to Sublime and we'll do sign out. And let's go to destroy user uh, session path. And then we also want to do method of delete. All right, so let's, uh, oh, we also need to end this. So let's save that and refresh. Okay, so I'm not going to add one to sign in because we are going to be the only people who ever access or should access that link. Uh, so we don't need to show it on our application. But if we are signed in, we want the ability to sign out in case we're not on our own computer or for whatever reason. Uh, so let's make sure it works. Let's uh, click sign out. We have signed out successfully. Now we can go to users slash sign in. Awesome. So everything is working correctly. Let's sign in again. Beautiful. So one last thing I want to do is I'm just going to quickly style this. 
I quickly want to style this alert. So what I'm going to do is just text line center. Let's add some oops, text line center. Let's add some padding, 1M, 0. And let's add a border bottom, 1 pixel solid. And we'll do the E9, E9, E9. Perfect. So I'm going to copy that. And what I will do is go to the application SCSS file. And remember, this is in. So I'll grab the notice or alert. So I'll do dot notice and dot alert. And for those, I'll just add that text. All right, so if we sign out again, you have signed out successfully. If we refresh, it goes away. Awesome. So I think this is a good point to uh, push up what we've done, or commit and push up. So let's see, git s, git s, all right. Git commit dash am, I'll say add conditional edit and destroy links and sign out link. All right, so let's do a git status. We are good. Let's do a git checkout master. Then let's merge in the device branch again. And let's push it up. And let's push to Heroku and make sure everything works correctly. Okay, let's do a Heroku open. All right, so uh, it says we are signed in. So let's uh, make sure that is correct. Let's go to post slash new. All right, and let's try signing out. Now let's try to go to post slash new again. All right, we need to sign in before we are able to create a new post. Let's try to project slash new. Same thing, fantastic. All right, so we are the only ones who are able to create a post and let's see we're not signed in so we have no link show up let me sign in real quick users slash sign underscore in all right and let me go to articles and make sure we have the edit and delete links which we do fantastic all right, guys, this is looking great.